Hello, everybody, and welcome, 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 welcome to the Sagi Fogwe podcast. Um, if you're just joining us right now, please um, go ahead and like the video, start sharing, invite your family members, your friends, um, anybody, even your enemies. <laughs> even your enemies, want, they need to watch us, right? Um, invite them to the show. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button, um, the notification button, so that you know when we go live. Today is a very special show, as every other show is, but today is super, super special to me. And the reason is because I have someone in studio all the way from Germany, <laughs> my friend whom I've known for, what, 30 plus years? Yes, 30 plus years. We went to junior high together for five years and I've known her since then. And this show was supposed to air in January, but God moved things around a little bit and made sure that she was in the studio with me. So I want to welcome to the studio my friend, my sister, my classmate, my very special person here, Miss Sis. Elizabeth Ango Ekelem. Well, for Musa Ekelem. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's my good pleasure. to have you. Thank you. It's yes. I, I, like I said, we we're supposed to do this in January, but we're doing it today <laughs> in yeah. person, eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> good plans. Not yes. us. <laughs> so, the topic today, guys, um, it's a topic that I'm not very versed with. It's not in my comfort zone, but I brought an expert. We're talking about artificial intelligence today, and it's just artificial intelligence, AI 101. We're not going into the deep, 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 deep AI, but we're going to talk a little bit about it, what it is, you know, little features about it, you know, might have a little debate <laughs> in between about AI here and there, but I brought this expert because this lady is a wealth of knowledge. But before I go into the beef of the matter, introduce yourself. Not everybody knows you, sister. So go ahead and introduce yourself, your names, where you come from, you know, your background and whatever you want people to know. Okay. <laughs> Am I telling you or who? You're telling <laughs> the audience. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, my name is Ango. Fomuso Ekelem. That's a tilt. So I'm married into the Ekelem's family. And yeah, what am I doing? I'm a lecturer at the Applied at the University of Applied Sciences in Cologne, Germany, for over 15 years now, which was not planned. I actually entered the academia accidentally. So since that time, I've been doing several things around teaching from small children. So I teach a broad spectrum of people from eight years old to university graduates, so wow. right up to even master's children, uh, students doing their projects or thesis or stuff like that. So it's uh, it has been a journey. And I studied at the Technical University of Darmstadt, which is kind of one of the A-League universities in Germany. Mm -hmm. So it was hard coming in from Cameroon yes. and knowing only English or maybe a bit of French. <laughs> <laughs> and so learning the language and getting in there. So it was a long journey, finishing even. And when you finish there, you know you are, you, you've done it. Yeah. So it takes time. Mm -hmm. And so when I got into the University of Applied Sciences as a scientific staff, I was suddenly called upon to replace um, a sick professor. Okay. So that's when my journey actually took off. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's not all. You haven't finished all your, your description. You, you're a minister, your mother, oh, your yeah. wife. <laughs> Indeed. I'm a mother of three boys, which is actually one of my foundational things, knowing the different characteristics. I think we'll get into that yes. later. Knowing people come into this world with their different characteristics. There's no way we can... Um, say all boys are like this because I've seen it live in my home. I have three boys with three different characteristics different and personalities that yes. really give me that push to know we can only inf influence or spice the children yeah. up. So that's one thing. And, and then there's other, another thing I'm very, I'm a spiritual person. So coming from a family with pastors. Yes. So I had this, <laughs> yeah, this stepping stone of 
really finding myself and knowing God in, in another way. And at one point, I had even difficulties. I will not say um, a racial problem. I had difficulties at my job site because up till now, at my university mm -hmm. where I work, I'm the only bl black mm -hmm. in my camp on my campus, oh, wow. and then a woman. So you will know the kind of challenges that will come. You will you will be fine. Some people will admire you, but mm -hmm. some people will pick up yeah. their fights. So my only stronghold was the Bible, mm -hmm. and then I got into the Christian Leaders Institute yeah. and did my ministry mm -hmm. training and now I'm an ordained minister oh, wow. <laughs> so it even took me up to so to places where I started um, writing books even in that mm -hmm. direction mm -hmm. especially on that side of um, psychology yes you are is, an author yes, yes, <laughs> yes. so uh, we will share some of that too you share in, some indeed. of the work let's share the link before if you want okay, yeah if you exactly. want to share the link um mm -hmm. So guys, um, if you're just joining, go ahead and share. Um, this will be an interesting. I don't want her to go into the beef of the matter without us sharing. So so people don't miss, you know, they don't miss the 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 Indeed. topic. Yeah, it, it's a little slow. I think I had copied it over, but before we started, I had copied it over. Um, okay, guys, keep sharing, keep sharing. This AI topic, I'm I myself, I'm I'm curious because there are some things that I need answered today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, so that's the link I sent it your way okay. because yeah, a lot of AI stuff happening now that we need we 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 need to figure out what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll just a couple of shares here, guys, and then we'll go into it. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. I'm still learning this thing to be multitasking. I don't know how to walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> I'll kick my foot. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. There we go. All right. I think we're good. One more. Okay. All right. Yeah. There we are. So let's start from how you even got into IT. Because I don't I don't know if growing up were, were you technical? Uh, Was technical I mean, I don't remember you being very technical per IT, se. Yeah, IT is pretty much logic, is the logical way of mm -hmm. thinking. I don't know if you remember me and Mr. Kofi. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mr. Kofi. Let, let me tell a little story. Mr. Kofi was our math teacher. Uh -huh. Mr. Kofi told me I would never pass math. Oh. So he discouraged me <laughs> from math. So I stopped studying math. Like a few weeks before we wrote the GC exam, like General Certificate of Education, for those who don't know, oh, the ordinary level. So I re pretty much gave up on math for a little bit <laughs> until oh. somebody, Aka Aaron, was the one who sat me down and taught me in the traditional language. Oh. He taught me in womb. Wow. He taught me math in womb for two weeks, and I got a C. So, Mr. Kofi, he's on the bad list. Oh, <laughs> but you go know, ahead. They, Mr. Kofi was my favorite teacher from yes, from, mm -hmm. from one till from five. And Mr. Kofi knew that if I had to pass anything, it would be math. Yeah. I was just a math child. <laughs> Nothing else, but just math. Mm -hmm. And I would not even say I planned uh, being an IT person. I just love yeah. the numbers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So even when I graduated from high school, I did four papers, math and further math. I oh, didn't wow. do the physics. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so um, when I left, I went to Chang. For a year, I, I went with, through the Konku, the FASA. Mm -hmm. So it was not really my thing. I love agriculture. If you know me, mm -hmm, I love farming. Mm -hmm. But that was not my occupation. That was not what I wanted to spend yeah. my life doing. So when I, there was this professor we had at Jaganji. There was, I think, uh, one of my dad's old mm -hmm, friends. Mm -hmm. So he used to teach, I think, meteorology mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. So all other subjects were in French. And then he taught in English. And one time he used to give his test. They were always over 20. So I had six over 20. 
and this man just called my dad. Phones were not really cheap, yeah, uh-huh. were not easy, but he could get my dad. So he <laughs> called my dad and said, this girl, there's a problem because I'm the only English professor, but she is having a six on 20, you know? So my dad was always very passionate about his girls. Yes. Well, so many uh-huh, girls, uh-huh. And you follow everywhere. Yes. So my dad came into Chang and said, what is wrong? I just told him, I'm really not interested in agriculture. See, my dad said, pack your things. And I packed my things and we went back home. That was six months in wow. to Faza. So I told he asked me, what do you want to do? I said, I want to do medicine. So that was him now. Uh, he sent me, that was around March. You know, we start, they always start university in September. Mm-hmm. So that was like March. Mm-hmm. So he said, I should register for classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. Q's classes. <laughs> so I registered for Q's classes and attended for like three months to July, August till the concours yes. times. Mm-hmm. And I wrote the concours and I didn't pass. So that's when the trouble started. So I went on now to try other things. Yeah. So I started doing the German language and, you know, just trying everything. Yeah. And I still had the intention of going to Germany to do medicine. medicine. Uh-huh. So um, I have this uh, this older cousin whose husband was very IT savvy. And his junior brother had at Cow Street one computer class. Mm-hmm. So I would go there and he would teach me DOS. You know the mm-hmm. blue I know skin the, thing. I know. Yeah, the, so the, like, oh my gosh, dogs were aging ourselves. <laughs> yes, yes. And then there was this page maker. Mm-hmm. There were some small things. You know, he just took me, and I was really, I loved it. Yeah. So when I came to Germany at some point later, I knew, okay, I love this thing. I could find my way very mm-hmm. fast around mm-hmm. um, computer stuffs, and I applied for medical informatics just okay. to bridge it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before my admission came out, I was already taken at Darmstadt to do pure computer science. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, but somewhere along the line, I didn't just go. So somewhere along the line, I actually diverged and I did computer science and business management. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that's what actually yeah. rounded me up to, yeah, to what I am today. So that's how I got pretty much into, into IT, IT because of that. There was just some small, yes. small things that, mm-hmm. yeah, that. There's there. always a path. So there's mm-hmm. always something that leads you there. You yeah. know, if it's your if it's your your destiny, it always you always you get, get there, there. Some there yes. somehow because something will derail you from where you where thought you, you were supposed to go, That's and it. you end up there. Yeah. And the business side, I, I mean, we we see the business in you. Indeed. Every <laughs> side, we turn you're doing something business related. So yeah, so IT and then artificial intelligence. How so, did that come into so, the mix? So the thing is, at one point when I got, when I was employed as a scientific staff Mm -hmm. at the Applied University of Cologne, there was this professor who was always sick. So he used to do programming, robotics, Mm -hmm. and software engineering. Mm -hmm. Those were his three courses. And then there was a lack of math uh, professors. Mm -hmm. So I got into applied mathematics. So I was carrying four courses per semester. And... It was quite intense because I was actually leading a lab. My mm. main job was actually to lead a lab, mm. uh, uh, an IT lab. Yeah. So I was leading this lab, mm. taking courses for the first and second semesters, mm. and it was quite tedious. And during this time, we had open door days. You know, this day where children are allowed to yes. come in. So yes. we used to have children from primary mm-hmm. schools, to come and we had girl, girls' day. Mm. So sometimes only girls will come. Mm-hmm. But there was a pattern I noticed. Each time, the younger children will know better than the older children. So the children between 10 and 13, mm-hmm. they were always very good. Yeah. They, when they come in, we always set up projects for them in, mm-hmm. the, in my labs, for example. Mm-hmm. And since I was doing robotics, so that's where yes, the thing is. I was interest, doing robotics. Yes. So I, I had small, <laughs> small robots. Mm-hmm. So I would just prepare small, small robots. Mm-hmm. And what they would do is I would write small codes for them to just program. Mm-hmm. And it would do one thing or the yeah. other. So when they come and sit down now, I will notice the younger ones were very good. They could remember their math. Mm-hmm. But the older children, 13, 14, 15, mm. they had problems. <laughs> yeah. So um, this was how it all started. Then um, during summer, I thought, okay, I will start doing summer camps for children just mm-hmm. to because we have this system in Germany, the children learn everything in six weeks okay. packages. Mm-hmm. It means when you are very young, when they teach you things, after six weeks blocks, you do your exams and mm-hmm. that's it. You don't 
get to it again. Oh wow! For like ever. So you don't you don't like, get to apply it. Yes, mm-hmm. till like high school yeah. or so. Mm-hmm. So my intention was to actually maintain some continuity. Yeah. What you've already learned, apply it. Yeah, build on it. We want yes. to do yes. Yeah. And there is mm-hmm. a Python language which which is very diverse. You mm-hmm. can do so many things with it. Yeah. So during that summer course, we will I will buy microcontrollers. Because I could not lay hands on yes. so many robots. Uh-huh. So we had to do primitive things. Mm-hmm. We had to start doing maybe small robot cars. So I'll buy some microcontrollers like the Arduino boards, the Raspberry Pi, some of these other fruits. I'll just buy mm-hmm. a handful of these um, microcontrollers yeah. mm-hmm. and they would just come and start doing pro- projects yes. around mm-hmm. it. And it was fun. So during that time, it's a small um, community, yeah. a Catholic community. So mm-hmm. they were very excited first. Yeah. There was the newspaper that came in. To so actually uh, record what yes, they were doing and uh-huh. report on it. Exactly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. IT is mm-hmm. coming into our village. Wow. Like So this turnout was good. Yeah. The very next year, I did it again. The turnout was really... Was this attached to the university or this is a personal it effort? It was just me, yeah. Just a personal effort. Due to, yeah. The, yeah, due to the girls day and yeah. the open door day. Mm-hmm. I just saw the gap. Yeah. So there was this gap and I had boy children mm-hmm. who, who also yeah. like this thing. So mm-hmm. they would support me even. So we did all this small, this camp. The next year it was even bigger. Mm-hmm. So they started sending me, I will cooperate with the church mm-hmm. center. So they will give me the whole center. Mm-hmm. To use the, as a to venue. Use, mm-hmm. Yes. And then they will give me like three people for free. Yeah. They will just say, okay, you will take these people for your course. And then you yeah. would. Do it. So I was not paying mm-hmm. for the church center. And then they would just have their meals there and stay the whole day and then only go back home in the evenings. So it was so during the second year now, parents got very interested Mm -hmm. and they started asking, when we do it once in a year, the children still forget. Yes. So why don't we just do something weekly, like permanently? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's when... I started my IT club for children. The mm, I remember club. you had, yeah, I tried to get the kids in, but I wasn't consistent. No, no that was like yeah. way later. later. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So I, that was like on yes. site the whole mm-hmm. time. So I had to get this um, venue mm-hmm. and it was not the church center yes. anymore. I had this mm-hmm. venue now. So children could come in between 10 to 18. Mm-hmm. They could come in now and do these projects. Mm-hmm. So I had, there were some children who only came in to do programming. Yes. There were some children who only came in to build. There were, there were very technical yes. children who did yes. not want to program. Mm-hmm. So I just had to split the things into different mm-hmm. compartments. And yeah. so it just went on. Yeah, that based way. on their, their, you know, their interest. Their interest, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. So, and then there was the extra aspect. The Germans like English and they speak it from very young. So I will help the children even to correct their English. We'll just talk a mm-hmm. bit. And I'll help them with math or yeah. science. And so they love it. So it was it. like a one-stop shop. <laughs> exactly. So they were coming in. Yeah. So that's how I got very interested. But there was one sad thing that um, made me to come out. That's when you saw yes, me now. Uh-huh. There was one very sad thing, about, aspect about it. Every child I had in my club was white, Caucasians. So there was really no black child. Mm-hmm. So your community wasn't represented. Mm, yes. Yeah. So mm-hmm. everywhere we go, only my children will be the black children. Yeah. So it was a pain in them. Mm-hmm. For me, yeah. what are you doing? Are you not teaching your own children? <laughs> like, you know, the yeah. people, they accepted me yeah. and IT was coming with full force. Yes. And the thing is, I understood what was happening in my community. We are mostly surviving. We yeah. are mostly, so we are mm-hmm. trying to work hard to yeah. Make sure our children have food on the mm. table. You know, we have mm-hmm. to try. Yeah. And they could not afford the extra. Anything extra anything curricular. Extra. Yeah. Because I remember even getting Seth to log in. And he's very interested. He he's actually very... wants to go the STEM direction. And to get him to log in was, it was just, yeah, it was, it, because of my schedule. You yeah, know, yeah. You see, and then yes. he couldn't log in you on see. his own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for me, my own way of giving back then to my yeah. community was to actually just send it out like con free yes, for yes, all the black children yes. who wanted to do it and just mm-hmm. get them on board so some people started visiting the club uh-huh. even black people i saw even north um, north africans were the first who came mm-hmm. they were egyptians very intelligent yes. mm-hmm. they were moroccans they were um, other north algerians so a very diverse group very diverse yes. so they started coming in yeah. and then then e- asians mm-hmm. so it the it became like rich in mm-hmm. multicultural yeah. kind of thing. 
And then the black children now started coming in one by one, and there were even girls. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> were... uh, you know you want you want you want to get, especially because of the girls' night out that exactly. you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. the so girls, so girls came, and that's how it all materialized. Yeah. And then for these things, you you have to make create books for them. Yeah, you, when you start creating these yeah, small manuals. blocks, mm-hmm. at some point you start doing yeah. manuals. Yes, mm-hmm. so then I'll say. But why not? It means you have to concretize this and maybe do it so a child can take it and do mm-hmm. self pace at some point. Yes. So I started working on those manuals, mm-hmm. which I did not finish before publishing other books. Wow. So I had so many things going on. Your, your projects are too many. If yeah. we we could sit here for six hours, this lady, you guys, this lady oh is a, a, ja- a, ja- a Jacqueline of all trade. Oh my God. <laughs> so how many children do you have in the class now? Like, uh, you know? Let me yeah. say, they always go, they always go when they finish their high school. Mm-hmm. So I would say, right since November, I actually stopped the on-site. But before I stopped the on-site, there were like 20 on-site children okay. who were coming. But online, I have like, they're always joining. So yeah. it's really a continuous thing. Mm-hmm. They come and go. And sometimes I lose sight because yeah. I do coaching. Mm-hmm. I just pull them. But for the on-site, it became very tedious for me. So November, yeah. this past November, I... Decided to stop the on site. Yeah, because, okay. Yeah, there was the too overhead much. too, because you have to the the bills you have to take the care bills. of the bills. You the take thing care was of that. the mm. thing was even the tiredness. Yes. I was exhausted. Yeah. I was doing so many things. So I would come there after work, mm-hmm. and then you have children, parents sometimes who would just want you to even babysit their children. It, but I was just gonna say that was yes, <laughs> that so, was an opportunity for a mom to go do her yeah, nails. So would, I to knew, go do something. I saw it. Yes, I saw <laughs> go do this nails, thing. go hang out with their friends while yes. you're taking you're all tired and taking uh-huh. care, but you're doing what you love. <laughs> and there were some very lovely children yeah. in it. So they would come, they would just come and throw them on me. And then what I noticed is when they reach that 13 gap also, when they start becoming teenagers. Yeah, the puberty, mostly, puberty and all yeah, that. Sometimes they don't even in. want to talk to me. So they will mm-hmm. come, they are sitting on a computer, and when I come close to them, they will turn it and they will turn it. Instead of letting the lecturer sh- see what they're doing. Because they were playing games. Because <laughs> yeah. they're playing games. Oh, okay. So they're not doing they start, the right thing. Yes, mm-hmm. they start being distracted. Yeah. So I just thought if they are at home and their parents are keeping an eye, mm-hmm. you take away the extra burden. From you, yeah. And yes, I will not need to be moving yeah. out of the house to come. That was my safe space yeah. too, but I decided to yeah. say no. So let's back up. Let Because people, we've gone into the beef of it a little bit, right? But let's define what, let's even start from defining what artificial intelligence is? What is AI to to the simplest person, not in IT big terms? <laughs> I know <laughs> to a I layman, know. what is AI? I know. So so there is a difference. Um, let me just do it with an example. At first, to let's say to program a small robot now to work, there's the traditional programming that you would normally program. So you would just start by writing your class and you have to really define the logic so and make it work and you tweak it. If it doesn't work, you find, you try to create method. If you say you want the arm to move, you will make a method to move the arm and stuff like that. But when the, with the dawn of IT now, you can actually describe your robot to the IT and, the, then, and it will create a program for you that will run it just just to give you something the it has mm-hmm. come not to replace what was but to make things really easy mm-hmm. so you start by just giving in the things to, like for example this is generative ai mm-hmm. i'm talking about yeah. so so you start by just saying i have a robot i would need this robot maybe to move mm-hmm. forward backward just write is a python program for me that would do this for me mm-hmm. and you just tweak it in a way and you get a program a full program yeah, yeah, out for you. So it comes now in to help you structure things for you and makes life very easy. That's just it mm-hmm. for the layman. Yeah. Like, yes. So, it, but the way I understand it is that it replaces, like, I'm just thinking like, human beings are going to be replaced by robots. No. <laughs> that's that's the, the, the uneducated idea of I AI that we are going to be replaced by robots. My job is gone. This, that's the way I think about there is it. There's so much yeah. that is going to be replaced. I, I actually had a list that I created. I don't even know. Maybe I have it somewhere in here. But um, I create. I had to create a list of the jobs that are really at risk. Anything that is repetitive, anything that um, can be done easily, 
with um, simple movements. Mm -hmm. Yes, the AI can do can it. Do it. But you will need now. I you need IT savvy people who will create these programs that will do these things. So it's not like a pure replacement. Yeah. But you be still a, need people behind you still need it. People behind to make sure because, like I, th the scary one is when I s just search for something. Yeah. Or I start doing research on something and then suddenly on Facebook, that thing starts following me. Like things related to that. It's like they are listening to me. You know, like anybody who has paranoia, that is a scary thing for I them. Know, you know, know, like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is a black box when it comes to AI. There is a black box principle because you can actually not know what will come out. Sometimes you will not know what will really come out mm -hmm. of what you are trying to get. So you just do it because just lately I read an article, these workers in ChatGPT, for example, they wrote a program to train a certain th yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. Let me just say thing. thing. I don't want yes. to call uh -huh, any IT uh -huh, term uh -huh. here. Yes, no. So mm -hmm. they thought uh, it would not work that way. So they left it. You know how you write something and you give you a, you're writing a book and yeah. you abandon it because maybe you've done like five chapters and in the on the sixth chapter you had holidays, you went on holidays and you came back and maybe you, you could not get in so mm -hmm. quickly. So you just leave it there. Yeah. And they left that program to be running in the background. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at a certain point, it started training itself. So now it becomes a question. How far can the AI really go? Because we we just write something small yeah. and it will do it, and you think that's it. But right right up to 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 classic programming, the one I said that you mm -hmm. have to do the yeah. methods on your own. We had three principles. The very first project we had for our computer science class was to program the Mancala game. So you, I don't know if you know the Kalaha. This mm -hmm. game that has holes and then you mm -hmm. have the, the seats that, that you have to move the seats from one hole to mm -hmm. the... Mm -hmm. I don't think I've played that. No. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They call it Kalaha okay. Mankala. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the first... In the first semester, can you imagine? So we had to program that game. That was our A welcome. game that already exists or they were in trying to... Yes. Okay. In life, so but you had to program it. We had to bring it, it down, yeah. yes, on mm -hmm. screen. And mm -hmm. we had to do it in a way that you could play with somebody else and you could play it with yourself and you could actually play it across the network. So kind of like um, solitaire, like where you Something play solitaire like by yourself, yes. Monopoly, things like that. Yes. Kind of like yes. that, but you're, uh -huh. program, you're you programming have to program it. it. Okay. Yes. So mm -hmm. we had to create groups and program. Mm -hmm. But what I was trying to say about that one was there were places in these games that we had to fit in. We call them data structures. So you have to fit in things like trees. And the trees are just different probabilities mm -hmm. so it means if this person carries these stones and puts it here and here and here there are different options maybe there are just three stones so it will just be three mm -hmm. if there are four stones yeah so we create those options and it can go deep down mm -hmm. like roots so that was really science to show that the day there will be a breakthrough the tree structure in terms of ai is something else yeah because it will teach itself and start coming back mm -hmm. to you and by the time Things really get so well. We have to; they have to create regulations around yeah. it to actually know where the morality will end mm -hmm. and ethical standards yeah. and stuff like that. But on the other hand, it's still very far. Right now, the AI we have is really for us to because right now on your phone, mm -hmm. even when you were co coming here, mm -hmm. maybe you you used your navigation yes. here, and the voice there is oh, all you AI. can change it. I can change it to a German accent, a British yes, accent. Indeed. You know so we use it so yeah. we use it like every day, but that's just the it's just the basic things that mm -hmm. we do. So how can you even use AI to even make your own life easy yeah. or to create certain things to make it the dawn of chat GPT, for example. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. many Africans. For, for documentation. Yes. You, you tell, you you give it a little, just a little, little search thing. and then it spits out exactly. a whole lot of information. Yes. And yeah. I encourage, I'm trying to encourage Africans to use it because what I know is where it's good to, to give knowledge to people who deserve it, right? So if you tell somebody about ChatGPT, they're, they're always overwhelmed. It's just a small prompt. Yes. So you look at it and think, what do I do with such a space? Yeah. And there are people who use it. And mm -hmm. in our communities, there yes. are people who use it and they hide it. And don't share. And they don't that's, share. That, but that's the thing about our community, right? Yes. This show, the purpose yes. of this show, and I always bring, when guests come on, I always remind them about what this show is about. This show is not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about the community. Yeah. That's why, if you notice, everybody who comes on here, we talk about empowerment. We talk about uplifting people. We talk about 
um, our community, mm -hmm. making our community better. I'm not that, I don't want to keep stuff to myself. Yeah. That's why I could have had this conversation with you one-on-one -on -one and left it at that. But mm -hmm. I wanted to bring it to people because I know that there are so many people in our community who are like me, who yeah. do not understand what AI is about or who have their stereotypes about it. Because I have stereotypes about AI, but you are educating me right now and we'll still have conversations offline, yeah. right, about this. But our community, if you know something, why keep it to yourself and not share with other people? Even though, yes, people abuse information, right? They yes, take yes, it and abuse exactly. it. Exactly. But we share. So, <laughs> so no, let me yes. tell you, so mm -hmm. there's one thing I want to encourage yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. Like you have conversational AI too. That's where ChatGPT falls. It has the aspect of generation and uh, of generational mm -hmm. AI, and then it has the conversational mm -hmm. one. I've, I've published about um, three to four papers on conversational AI and psychology. Okay, why? Africans, we have very active children and mostly the boys. Mm -hmm. When the boys are very active, it's a cultural thing. We know our boys are very mm -hmm. active. And sometimes in the Western culture, without incorporating our cultural aspects, they can misjudge our children. That's ADHD, ADHD. ADD. Yes, mm -hmm. there's a fine line. Yes. So there are children who really have it, but there are some who are just basically active because of yeah. their culture mm -hmm. and what is aspect or tolerated as culture. Mm -hmm. So you have these children now who are maybe um, not challenged yeah. in the way they have to be. They Maybe a child is too good in math or yeah. too good in something, but the child is in a, in a drawer. So yeah. the child will be frustrated and the child will start ticking around and twisting and they will want to even give that child medicine. Mm -hmm. So one of my papers was also on actually using a um, conversational AI to address these things. Because sometimes we think we can just use uh, conversational AI just to create those books or maybe just create those lectures and then hide them, let mm -hmm. people not see. Mm -hmm. But we can use it to improve our community. Wow. So ChatGPT, for example, creates you can you can actually create GPTs. So if you create your GPT, you can desi design it to actually What help. does GPT mean? GPT. Well, it's an acronym, right? It's an acronym. Okay. Uh -huh, what does acronym. it stand for? What, what does it actually mean? Um, sorry, you actually took me off, off radar. As we talk, yeah. I'll, okay. I'll get okay. it. Okay. Yeah, so the whole idea is a, it's an engine that yeah. the, the conversational okay. AI is built yeah. on. So um, the whole idea is this when you create a gpt you can design a gpt to be able to address your child if your okay. child can at least write something yeah. you can create a safe space for your child to ask those deep questions right now i'm feeling very frustrated my mom shouts at me because they, they they've had boundaries there are really rules on that thing so you can never there are certain things that are really against the law so your child will have Example, so you yeah. say, I'm feeling exhausted. My homework is too much. What do you think I can do? It will advise your child on what to do. It will give your child a process. So it wouldn't give bad advice? No, it would okay. not. So it will tell <laughs> because you. Because that's where so my fear let, would let's be. Let's go. Let's follow this structurally. Yeah. What is really the problem you have? Maybe you try to tell me more so I can know what to do. Maybe we start by doing this bit and this bit and mm. this bit, and then we get to where we are. Even adults. Wow. There are some adults, you know, what we're going through now, people don't have people to talk to. Yeah. Because people hardly trust each, each other mm -hmm. today. Either you are being judged or yeah. you are you are insecure that you will yeah. be judged. So you are not necessarily being judged, but you are mm -hmm. insecure. Maybe oh, our be... community is so toxic that so, you know yes. you um you, you think that somebody's close you're close to someone, they're a safe space for you, you Thank share you. something with them and then it ends up being you know out yes, there broadcasted and, yeah. all over when yeah. you don't want it and yeah not constructively yes. because constructive yeah. broadcasting can be good yes but yeah so what happens now is you as an adult you can create a gpt to be your personal companion hmm. so you now you create that gpt and say each time i have a problem i would like to talk to you talk to me as a friend so I would like you not to give me any advice, for mm -hmm, example. Mm -hmm. I just want you to listen and give me different nuances of ways I will solve these problems wow. or interact. And it will just come, you know, each time you come with a thing, you just need to give a sentence. Yeah. And then it will it will start writing. So wow. how can I help you and stuff like that? 
And the thing is, um, and there's audio to it as well, right? Like, if you, for somebody who cannot read, it can it will give you an right audio. Right now, the paid version, mm -hmm. the normal version doesn't pay, and it and it's worth the whole trial. So twenty dollars a month is not a bad idea because mm -hmm. people pay Netflix. Oh, tell people me about pay it. All kinds yes, of they are stuck in all yes. kinds of small, 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 small bills. Mm -hmm. But twenty dollars a month is really groundbreaking. For somebody, if you can explore, there is so much to explore mm -hmm. there. So there's one I've written for adults, how they can use conversational AI just to... So you've written a program like this, kind of like this? Yeah, I have I have programs, but I'm yeah. actually talking about publications, scientific okay. publications, okay. like real... Yeah. yeah so publications yeah. For, for, for policy. So um, for for adults, for mm -hmm. young, young children in school, how it can help them problem-based, how you can even use it to learn special topics. So you will spit out questions yeah. for you or interactive projects mm -hmm. that you can do. I'm just imagining your brain. Like, <laughs> 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 what's going on in your brain? Because I'm now seeing, you know how we think that math, you never use math for anything. And then yeah. you're, you're describing all of this now and I'm seeing how... The idealness. Yes, yes, how math yes. can be, you know, used. So you can life, use it yeah. so well. So, the thing yeah. is, the moment as I'm talking to you, there are certain things we can even talk, and I will just pick them up, and then I will, I can actually bring out a whole publication out of what we are just talking a about because it's not just you who have that, but there are many other people who have it, and just bringing out the light into this mm -hmm. aspect could be good. And AI now will help me because the ideas I had, there were so many. But now I could achieve so much. Like in January, I published eight books somewhere on Angle, psychology. when do you have time to do all of this? That's the whole thing. So you have a frame. I had a frame. There was the thing with the boys that yes, I told you mm -hmm. about. So I have uh, the boy child. We have this problem with the yes. male child mm -hmm. today. We, they, um, there is so, not really stigma, but it's a problem. In our communities, the black communities, the girls are strong. We were brought up in the kitchen and in the school. So before you hear the name of a girl, the girl is established. And most of our peers, our age mates, we reason more than them. So at each level, the girls in that category mm -hmm. always reason more than the boys. Mm -hmm. And just imagine that if everybody gets married to their mates, there yeah, will be a you, whole you, yeah. range of divorces, divorces here. So <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a show I watched uh, this past week about, you know, uh, stigma about if you would marry or date somebody, uh -huh. who, um, uh, a guy who's younger than you. I actually followed closely and th yes. this was one of the topics see, like people uh -huh. were saying that someone was like, no, I'll never do that because I'll, I'll not respect them because they're younger, or, you know, things like that. So but there are some men, it, yes, no doubt. There are, yes. there's who always, mature, yeah, yeah, who, who are mature. mature very their fast, age, yes. yes, yes. So, but we have a big problem. Yeah. The boys, I, was, I had a conversation yesterday. One of my close family friends mm -hmm. was actually saying we have to encourage the young boys to leave their rooms and their phones and their games and actually engage in, in having boy friends and having girlfriends, like just going out to eat and drink or even the movies. At what age? Like what age are we talking about? So, these are young adults, like 20, 21. Okay. All but right. apart from <laughs> university, so apart from university, yeah. they are. No, yeah, they, they are do are it. glued to yes, their, their yes, video they do games it very mm -hmm. much. So he was saying, encourage them, yeah. not even to, not for the whole package of romance, but really just dating. To know how to converse, how to, to have yes. a conversation with a with with somebody because yeah. they will get up sometime at thirty and they will not know what to do. They will call their mom, like mom, what do I tell this yeah. girl? <laughs> so, so all all these aspects. Yeah. So boys were yeah. my thing. So I have been writing, yeah. collecting stuff, and I have just boys. Uh, yeah. And so uh, I was collecting stuff and trying to put together. And biblically, I I had confrontations with boys, with men in the Bible, starting from Daniel, Samuel, and then then David, and then his sons. But for putting all these things together was really quite much. I had papers everywhere, stickers, putting in all I places. I can imagine your but office. Yeah, with the dawn of AI, <laughs> I could easily put those things together wow. and actually sum it and actually published it. Wow. So it took me now just a short time to sum up everything I had yeah. into one space. That's what I, I call example of making work easy yes. for you. Okay. And there is no, I think you're writing a book even or two. Maybe you have books you're writing. 
and you publish the one day. They're in my head. Thank They're you. still in my head. <laughs> Many people I talk to, they say, I've been writing this book now yeah. for years and I think I'll publish. And I say, in in two weeks' time, if I talk to you, you'll publish that book. Um, Grandpa, your uh, my dad has a lot of manuscripts, so you might need you to. That might be <laughs> yeah, one so, of your clients. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. So that's it. So at the end of the day, it has come to solve our problem, yeah. AI, to solve, to make things easier for us. And then even just the book designing. So you have all these um, generative things yes. that you can actually generate generate your book mm -hmm. cover. There's even Canva. You can yeah. design things. Yes, on Canva. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it makes things easy because first, um, here, what's the, the platform you use? You go there and pay for somebody to edit, to audit your book and then still edit it. So there's auditing aspect, there's editing, editing aspect, yeah. and then there's the design of yes. the book, the book so cover. So all of that can be in one. Yeah, so... But so this you, is all AI. Yes, you can sit on your own. Are you guys listening to this, guys? I Are you guys everything. hearing this? Yes. I'm living here a changed woman. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is being changed about I AI because I was coming in scared. <laughs> so, for example, you have a book and you've been write, you've been trying to write and your outline is maybe queer. You go in there. This is a book I've been writing. You carry everything and throw in there. I say, organize it, put the, create the outline for me and make it look systematic. You tell it to make the book compassionate and engaging for the crowd. Are you serious? Yes, you tell it what you want it to be because, and say, I want it to be engaging. I want it to be compassionate so people will read and stay on it. Yeah. And it will spit you out the outline of your book. And then you can start expanding it from chapter to chapter. So, so you, by the time you finish your manuscript, you can generate your book cover. What you will need is the creative aspect of yeah. the coloring. What mm -hmm, colors do mm -hmm, I want mm -hmm. to use? And then the aspects of you presenting yourself front and back and stuff like that. Wow. So within two weeks, if you already had things you were storing, the only thing is like go back and pick all those skeletons and bring. And bring them. And just put life into it. Yes. Wow. So this this would be like you have it in a Word document and then you drop it into this program. Kind then of like you can that, you can cut it into patches. You can you can right now the paid version can also open files and read them, and it can spit out files. It can answer your questions, and you can listen to it. And will it also check for perjury, like you not um, copying somebody's? No. Will it check for that? No. Or you, you have to you, use a different you can program. Use, yes, especially okay. for for me, I do um, scientific publications, so. I really don't rely so much fully. It's just, it assists. That's an yeah. assistance mm -hmm. for me because I will go back maybe to Grammarly yes. because of the citations. I will go back to different spaces just mm -hmm. to make it look scientific and yeah. good. Yes. But for rom Roman books, like if yeah. you want to write a short mm -hmm. story. Mills and Boone. Yeah, yeah, for example. <laughs> the days of Mills somebody, and Boone. <laughs> if you're very creative, you, you can write those kind yeah. of books mm -hmm. like in a series. Yeah without the necessity of thinking somebody wrote this or that yeah. because it's just a story you know this will change a lot in our community you know why because we've talked about and uh, my producer here tori mm -hmm. day has talked about us documenting our lives and mm -hmm. that's how this show got born right because yes. he talked about documenting so this is something that because people are afraid of writing people are afraid of sitting down to document anything and even when you, you you know you're there are events that people um we've had events like ex-student associations like let's say Pemexa where you're trying to negotiate whether we should do video and pictures and you just seem that's just a simple example of it and people are because of cost yes. we're afraid to document these things and that moment passes away the same thing with our lives and our community and events that are happening. But if people know that there's something like this, that yeah. AI can be used in leverage our, in yeah, we can be leverage, it can be leveraged in our community. I think you'll make it, this is are, groundbreaking for our are, community. Yes, there are so many yeah. AI platforms yeah. like, like um, Pictory, for example, mm -hmm. you can go from text to video scripts. So you can actually move from different um, patterns to different patterns. Yeah. But you can actually even go, I really always stick on to, you have, um, Microsoft has come out with um, a pandan for a, for ChatGPT. For, oh, that's it has. called the co-pilot. Yes. Just recently? Or no, has it has it been, been there the, the whole time. Where have I so been? There's, yeah, so In there's a the co-pilot. <laughs> and co-pilot has one of his engines. Yeah. Uh, I'll just call it engines. It's working also on ChatGPT 4. So... 
you will still have aspects of ChatGPT always featuring. And now there's the Google. The Google has its own pandang also of ChatGPT. All of them are kind of still limited. So I really still go because they mm -hmm. still take aspects of ChatGPT. They yeah. still carry ChatGPT and fit on that yeah. their thing. So most of them, you will see, they are using ChatGPT. So if you can pay your twenty dollars a month, use your chat GPT. Yes. Wow. So you can actually go back there. You are doing a video play, mm -hmm. and you have the storyline. You have a chunk of text, and you say, "This is my text. Please break it down into a, a video, a small um, video series." So there is this person, this person, this person talking. Yeah. You will break your story down depending on yeah. how you want it. And the intervals, how you want each person to talk, mm -hmm, who will mm -hmm. answer. Yeah. And you can create your, your manuscripts for yeah, this. I'm thing, trying yeah. to see if we have um comments on there, but I'll oh, look okay. it, yeah. Because my vision, my uh, vision is terrible. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. so that's it. So that's yeah. kind of what it's all about. Mm. And the whole thing is there is so much yeah. to leverage in AI right now. And if oh. we we lax behind, or mm -hmm. if we keep it a secret, yeah, and just use it for ourselves, it's good because not everybody is creative. Yes. I'm saying yes. this thing today. Yeah, the the chat GPT will still overwhelm people because it's still just a prompt. Yes, and if mm -hmm. you open it, and if you are not very yeah. creative, because you can actually write a story for a, for children's story, and you mm -hmm. say, see, this is my story. Take this story. Yeah, and. I would like this story to be warm for children. Give me a color pattern. I mean, wow. for people who are not very creative. Wow. So give me a color theme. And it will tell you, for this kind of story, mm -hmm. this is the color theme. Tell me what kind of diagram I can draw to make this come out. It will tell you, it, maybe a tree with leaves yeah. that are falling down in a brown. Yeah. It will give you maybe in fall season or summer. It will describe what you would do. And you can take this description. And you say, mm -hmm. summarize it into a prompt. And you can actually take the prompt and go onto a picture generating yeah. scheme. But even ChatGPT now generates beautiful pictures, even wow. better than the mid journey. Yeah, and all like all, mm, mm -hmm. carry it as your prompt. Imagine and move having around. this years ago, like the African Riders series, like all the Mission to Kala. Yes. Um, uh, what are those? The Good Foot. Those books that yes. we we studied in school, right? Yes. Um, um, the Gods Are Not to Blame. Yes. Think about the authors having something like this. How many people would have written? We would have had more books. More books. And because what I encourage for, there was one time, I think I was reading like every week at least three books. So I've been reading too much. And I'm saying, but it's not a, it's not in our culture. We break. don't read. <laughs> yeah, we don't read. Yeah, but there don't. are ways we will yeah. make. Yeah, like now, there's a series I'm bringing out for the 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 cultural series for mm -hmm. our children in the yeah. diaspora mm -hmm. and the main thing i want to do it is to bring it out in audio format yeah. so people can yes. listen to yes. the books yes. but it's all ai yeah. Yes. so i'm assisted now with the ai to create all my audios wow. because you in the past you will have to generate this this um capita yeah. to start doing these things yes. today you can get into your keller into your cellar room and you start you write your text, yeah. you create your book, you create an account. Kindle, KDP is free. You create it, you create your audio books, everything within some few months, yep. and you start selling. So it's like something something you can do without necessarily having, ha having a capital. Yeah. You just need the time mm -hmm. and the right mentor to mentor you through that creativity, that creative phase, because yeah. people will be creative in different directions. There are people who go into the psychology, there are some people who mm -hmm, go in, mm -hmm. into With art. their niche. So yes. you can use your niche because mm -hmm. everybody has their own thing that they're focused on or that they're good at, you know, and we have so much talent in yes. our community. That's, I, I don't want to say wasting is, is on, it's, we're not um, using it to the fullest, yes. you know, so with things like this, that will aid you yes. know, like we can leverage it. You know, yeah. I blog a lot, right? Yeah. So I've been blogging now for quite so for some years, and I used to go into um, into stock, get pictures from there. Sometimes you even yes. buy these pictures, mm -hmm. and then there's free pics and things yes. like that. Oh, yes. Oh yes, you have. Yeah. You can get also those free mm -hmm. pictures. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's open to everybody, yeah. and everybody so, can get yes. it. So the paid mm -hmm. ones, at least, mm -hmm. are reserved mm -hmm. for you. So I will write these blogs, and I will go and pick up pictures from everywhere. But once you know how to prompt very well, you prompt pictures that will represent your blogs. 
excellently. Perfectly. Yes. Wow. So you write your blogs. Now you don't have the extra burden of going back. You can generate three, four pictures that will represent your blog and you load it there. And it also just gives back now and it becomes more interesting. You can even generate more mm -hmm. and just make it there because the thing is we have to fit, just saturate our communities mm -hmm. with this information. Yeah. So the people who pick up what they want to pick will pick them up mm -hmm. and use them the way they want to use. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So, mm -hmm. wow. So basically right now your, your focus is completely AI on the IT, it's in completely. the IT, in the IT space. Yeah. This is it for because, you. Because yes, because um, it's a vast, it's, because it's just listening big. to you right yes. now, I'm thinking of like all different directions that you can go with um, yes. the AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's wow. like, you just have to think of something. I'm sleeping sometimes and I will think of something and I have to jump. I have to really jump out of bed really Write put it, it yes because i'll easily forget so i'm always writing something because the projects are much but thanks to ai i can easily consolidate them and finish them on time yeah. i'm too okay my teacherness yes too, i know always i'm too much of a teacher always yes always. So, <laughs> so so i'm too solution oriented yeah, mm -hmm. i must see results yeah and if i don't see it there's nothing productive yeah, so mm -hmm. So it's a it waste of time. Is, yes, yeah. it's mm -hmm. very depressing. Yeah. Very, very depressing when you have so many things open and then you don't close them up and you don't have those mm -hmm. results. So what I'm doing is I will have to write it down yeah. and make sure I put a plan and put everything in, in, in place. So the moment I sit there, within three hours, there are times that I always say when I sit on my computer, everybody, uh, they will come and ask me, Ango, you have a special grace to do this and that. And stuff. So, uh, do you even sleep? You have exactly, to exactly because to ask I've my I've thought that too. Yeah. Yeah, you have to ask my husband. If I don't sleep for eight hours, there's nothing that will function. That will, because the way you post, because we we're classmates, and uh -huh. she posts. I mean, this information. I mean, like in yes. in one day, you. I mean, you spit out information in no time, yes. and I'm wondering. So yes. now the AI part is making it's, sense. It's, it's making sense. It's making yes. sense now. Like yeah. okay, the, okay. So yeah, you do. Sleep. So I can sit. <laughs> yeah. So I can sit for like three to four hours. The work I would do will be work that somebody can take about six months to do. Wow. Four hours. Because, okay, I will have the structure and I'm always going chronologically and make sure I'll finish it and have the results before I go to bed. But mind you, I sleep. Yeah. Oh, I love sleep. Yes, Trust me, I know. Yes. So, <laughs> so that's the whole thing. And then you, so they will say, so, so, so the whole thing is just having, manage your time and make sure when you sit down, you are doing it. So if I sit for four hours, the amount of work I can pull out. I mean, apart from, because yeah. I still do my full-time job. Yeah, your full-time job. Your you're a lecturer. Other, you, yes, yes you're so a businesswoman. You you're this. Yeah. Yes, so. so you already answered part of a question that I was going to ask you about, you know, the community, how the community can take advantage of mm -hmm. this. But I know you've talked a lot about focusing on the children. What mm -hmm. about us? Like us who are fully grown adults who... Now, because I like now I'm a disciple, <laughs> I'm an AI <laughs> disciple as of today. I do. So, how can people like me who have a lot of things who want, they want, to, want do to do too, finish. but they've been lazy, yes. they've been scared, they think that they're not able to do it? How can we benefit from this knowledge that you have now in our community, whether it's in our Pemexa space or it's in the Cameroonian space or the African space or, you know, in the community, in, you know. You know, there's yeah. this book that I just brought out, The New You. So that one being proactive. And first of all, we have to get to know our, our skill set. Because what I know is people hardly take time to know what their skill set is. Because once you pick it up, once you know exactly what you love doing and what you have mm -hmm. on board as your tool set, you will know exactly what direction to go. And looking for these mentors, because I've been coaching people yeah. in the evenings too. Like always, I always do two people in the evening. So when I come and everybody eats and the children mm -hmm. are going to bed, I mm -hmm. coach like two people and just... Vir um, virtually. Virtually. Okay. So I just mm -hmm. direct them on what to do, what courses to pick up because some of them are actually finding their ways into mm -hmm. IT or even just to get a job. So I will coach them. I'm always, so I have, I even mentor younger children mm -hmm. at the university yeah. level or even people just finding their way to get into. There's an assessment that I do for the younger ones even. I have to do a drilling to know where your skill sets mm -hmm. lie. Because most of the time, if we do not take time to think of our skill set, 
That's one part of it. Yeah. And then the kind of mindset we carry. If you are that person who is receptive mm -hmm. and you know you will continuously learn, even if you don't know this thing, mm -hmm. you can still know it very yeah. well tomorrow. You can still be an expert in mm -hmm. it. That growth mindset yeah. of not thinking, oh, um, that's me. I, I'm not very good yes, in this. And talking like, yourself talking down. Talking yourself yeah. down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you yeah. have that mindset, you will become very proactive mm -hmm. and you will go out there and do these things. Yeah. And then there are also learning styles. Yes. I've been talking yes. too much about yes. Yes, the yes. way people learn. Mm -hmm. Some people learn with their hands. Some mm -hmm. people see yes. and learn. Hear. From, some people yes. just hear you want. Some people just hear you mm -hmm. want. Yeah. So if you yeah. identify the kind of learning, there are, you know, the, uh, the, the, this, um, kinem uh, this kinetics learning, most mm -hmm. of our boys learn yes. like that. Yes. You see a child, a boy child, you go behind the house, you remove the child out of a pot of soup. You see the, the child's head in the toilet. You see the child's, yeah, somewhere in the ground. So they learn. That's a beautiful, that, they call that it was learning my by little him. brother. Kum, yes. Kum, <laughs> Kum was that kid who, from one, one guava tree to another, fell into whatever it was. Thank Face you. was swollen. Oh my God. We had God. to take him to Acha next. <laughs> So, so he has learned his lesson. Yeah. Do you think it's like, have you learned Kum? No. So, yeah. But so it's, if you think about it, yeah. it, it becomes a kind of, it's a melody to me. When I think of it, it's so but beautiful. But you raise boys. So, yeah. So, so it's, yeah, for it, you, it's like, yeah, uh -huh. you know. It, they, you call it immersion. So you mm -hmm. learn with every sense of your yeah. body. They call it learning by immersion. And this is what they use, you use to learn language. So, you know, when you grow up, everybody has been immersed yeah. into languages. Mm -hmm. You see, you hear your mother talk, you yeah. hear your brothers, your siblings, mm -hmm. you hear your grandma, and then you just learn the language. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's learning by immersion with your ears, your eyes, and everything, everything. Mm -hmm. and you just learn. Mm -hmm. They use it in medicine, and they use it now in virtual reality. So, you 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 are there with your whole body, even though you are not really yes. here physically mm -hmm. touching. So, so, you have different learning styles that you have to get acquainted to. And actually know your kind of learning mm -hmm, styles. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm saying AI is so easy for yeah. you to leverage now, we are that's end user. But you can create opportunities for other end users out of your own yes. AI uh, knowledge. And Which is that, what you are doing, yes, basically. You're exactly, doing that. Exactly. So now it's, you know, for, for the end users who are mm -hmm. not able to create, it's now how it's does now that how get to them? Get it, yes. mm -hmm. So now I'll mentor people in that direction. Mm -hmm. So that's where the mentorship also comes in. For your, from your experience, somebody mm -hmm. wants to take the AI as a business yeah. trail. Yeah. So you want to use it for business, not just for your phone or just yes. to write text and just, yeah, just so you want to use it for business. Mm -hmm. Okay, then mentorship comes in or coaching comes mm -hmm. in and stuff like that. So but, how can US people benefit from you? You're all the way in Germany. So talk to us about how we can benefit. I always, how do, can, I always yes. do courses and I always okay. outline US yeah. times. Okay. And I even merge some of them. Yeah. So yeah. I always do courses. So they can join so they can virtually, join virtually and all that. Are these paid courses? Are free? This is your opportunity of, to talk about this I stuff. know. No, no, no. Some of them are, are not paid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of them I use to, to promote my books. Yeah. Some of them I use um, for my own business purposes. Some of them I just give as giveaway okay. just to get people okay. hooked up. And then some of them are really paid courses that I think, okay, okay. you have to pay for this too. Yeah. yeah. So if I have to teach people how to do book covers, for yeah. example, any kind of book covers, I know I'm not, it's, that's not my place. That's not the kind of things I yes. do. But if people keep on bothering me and saying, I, I want to know how to yes, make it, yeah, yeah. I want to know how to make a book cover. And I get 10 people call me. And I don't want to sit with one person and show. You just do a I'll just a, do a, a course. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then show them exactly what to do. What and then they will pay for that because they've been demanding. Yeah. Because it's very easy for your cousin to call you in from Japan and say, this is your book cover you are doing. Please show me. And then another cousin calls you from Israel. Show me. You out of familiar things, mm -hmm. you show everybody and you don't have time for yourself. For yourself so yeah. I'll tell them a course is coming. I'm planning something. When the time comes, I will just send it send the links to mm -hmm. you or send it to everybody and then you can attend. If it's a free yeah. one, then it's good for you. And you, can and you said you have some of these recorded, some of these things will be recorded so that people can get to it and work on it at their pace, everything, right? Everything, yes. Yeah. Everything okay. I'm doing now, I'm trying to make it audio. Okay. For the African sake. Audio of it, because we have to see what you're doing. No, for mm -hmm. I have it, you know, okay. normally I have the yes. YouTube thing, uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so, but I've not posted, I had a, a very bumpy last end of year. So I left off with my YouTube channel like 
hanging. So it's just now. Shout out your YouTube channel. So oh, it's known as yeah. Discovery yeah. Movement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me spell that. So no, it's okay. <laughs> you be can yeah. you actually put it? Yeah, I'll below put the your, link. Yes, yes I'll uh -huh. put the link for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that people can can go can subscribe, go subscribe and, yeah, yes. and follow you. Yeah. So there, I mostly mm -hmm. give advice on stuff yeah. and things like that, yeah. and then even on Facebook sometimes yes. I give it. But you know, so much to do, and I think that's not very obvious. You know, the 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 monetize the monetization aspect of it is too small. You have something, but it's always really small. You really mm -hmm. have to, yeah. yeah. So how many people I have? About how many subscribers now? And then you have to be putting videos regularly yeah. and having some keep it up mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So and it's more the documentation part of it. But eventually, you know, these things will, yes. you know, they, the uh -huh. the return will come. You might not even benefit from it. It might be the kids who the are going to benefit, benefit from, from this. It. You know, yes. they'll watch it and say, "Oh, that's my mom." That's yeah. exactly and, uh -huh. and, and so, share it at that point. So I've, I've been yeah. laxed with that yeah. one quite a bit. But, uh -huh. So, so yes, you've talked about all the benefits of, of AI. I came in here, you know, thinking, you know, like the downside of it. From your perspective, is there anything about AI yes. that you think is, a, you know, is um, an obstacle to humankind or to... I know it's difficult. It's a difficult question because no, you it's love because you love AI. It's your thing, yes. and that's your niche, no, it's right? Not even yes, difficult. yeah. So we, what? the the black box thing. Those are one of the first things I always say. That black box aspect of sometimes not knowing what you expect. AI can surprise you, and then there is this hype. The wrong people are talking about AI most of the time. So if you've really not touched it, done it, and you know exactly, because they'll just say. Uh, use it at your own risk. So it's not enough to tell somebody yeah. what will happen. So, but the whole thing is, uh, for the the conversational and generative right now, mm -hmm. it's okay. Okay, there are some pictures that can be generated that can be very scary. Okay, but for the conversational, there are so many rules around it. Yeah, no um, kind of mm -hmm. uh, funny language. Yeah, yeah, the language because you, you cannot control be, what people you can, yeah, yeah what so people are saying. That's different. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. So, so, so the whole idea is, if you are not using it the way you have to use it, you always see something to fear about. Yeah. It. There's the, yeah. There's the danger of AI. If data is not secure, there are AI things that can uh, viruses, for example, that can actually yeah. squeeze out mm -hmm. things. So you have to be protected in one way or the other. Yeah. And it also brings in why things like cloud will be important mm -hmm. at some point. The cybersecurity, people yeah. were so eager learning all those things because they will need them for some security yeah. aspects. A borderline, but um, AI is just borderline dangerous from the end user point of view at mm -hmm. this stage. Mm -hmm. But the developers, if you are a programmer, you are programming. If we, we can program a monster at yeah, some point that I, can come back and can, eat us. Can eat us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so that's the whole deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was trying to shout out to some people. I see Maggie, our other classmate who's watching. Um, my vision is really terrible. And I, I don't know how to look on my phone because I think that would be the better way for me to see the, the comments. Um, the page that's of oh, that's my page, right? But I don't know how to. <laughs> I'm still learning this stuff, guys. Don't laugh. <laughs> I know. that's why we teachers we have to still work right so um if we just are those are one of the big dangers if we allow ai to do everything some people will be very intelligent and some people will become really stupid mm -hmm. because so they'll depend, they'll on depend it. fully yes. on it and they will not know what to do mm -hmm. like what i said with the programming if you are that child who is constantly going there for the least small code, you just go and give it and it spits it out to you and you are in a programming course. You won't know how you to do it. You will never program. Yeah. And for that, when you go to sit your exams, you will never pass because there's no exam that will allow you to be generating things and giving them mm -hmm. to... Open book. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> and so that's the whole thing. So school has to go on. You have to learn everything you have to learn, but then... When it comes to using and putting into practice, mm -hmm. you can bring in AI to help you faster, to help you do these things faster. So you can go 100% over your productivity 
with your knowledge. There's nothing AI can multiply if you don't have anything. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not easy for you to take this AI and go now into the village and tell somebody in the village who really did not go to school and say prompt and start yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. If you do not have your repertoire, you don't have something. You need basic, AI cannot, basic yes, knowledge, AI right? cannot magnify mm -hmm. it, yes. Mm -hmm. So for me, I used to write a lot. So AI has just made me yeah. to close them up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For me, I was already a programmer. Yes. AI is just helping me now to help my students. And to save time now. It saves me yes. time. So mm -hmm. I even I generate um, exercises for my students. Then it makes it diverse. Because in the past, I would just have a series of questions, like 30 with their answers. And I will be playing with them. So you change them in any way and be giving five years, five days, five days, five days. And then, you know, you are off or you spend a whole weekend trying mm -hmm. to generate extra questions for your mm -hmm. students. But right now, I know exactly what I want to do and I'll just tweak it and make it generate 50 for me. Yes. And then I have it. You have it on So hand. now I can be giving my students 10 questions to deal with. Yes, if they care, they can go back to AI and generate their answers, but the exams will come. And then they will know yeah, what they are doing. Yeah, you need to know. You yes. have to have the basic knowledge. Yeah. So yeah. exams, mm -hmm. the whole thing is set, um, having your certificates, your your credentials, mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. these things are, is the thing that is going yeah. to keep. And AI. integrity is important. Integrity, so you have to yes. yeah, you have to be honest. You yes. know. So it's it's uh, can you sleep at night at if you night, know that mm -hmm. somebody is spitting out yeah all of that for you? If you keep writing yeah. exams, mm -hmm. AI will yes. be put at B, mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. you will know you magnify just what you have, not yeah. any kind of thing. exactly. Yeah. Oh, I cannot see at all. <laughs> yes. Oh, Willie Broad. Well, sh um, sh shout out to everybody who's on the. Okay, Willie Broad. AI is a valuable tool for our generation, but it's important to be mindful of what of what we feed it. Remember, whatever input you provide, the AI will store and potentially share. So yes. only share what you're comfortable with being published. Be responsible with your inputs, as mm -hmm. they can um, have a lasting con. Uh, they can have lasting consequences, and that's exactly what you were just saying. Yes, yeah. yes, and yeah. it's not only for for this particular topic. It's not only AI. It's generally IT in general. Yes, yeah. anything yes. because the day you load a picture on Facebook, just know your. It has nothing to do with AI at this point. This picture will be stored somewhere in a database somewhere, in a cloud somewhere, mm -hmm. any information Employers you Employers even pull up stuff now. They go to your social media and pull yes. stuff up and it works against you. You might lose a job just because, yeah, yeah because somebody pulled up something that mm -hmm. you, you know, you had online. So, yeah. yeah. Any other questions there? It was very intelligent. <laughs> We we enjoy intelligent women. <laughs> She's the intelligent one. I'm just here <laughs> soaking it up. <laughs> this lady is a wealth of knowledge. So any words for your German people in German? Let me hear a little bit of German. Speak to your German people. Oh, what can I say to my German? They're all asleep. <laughs> they're asleep. They'll watch the video they when they wake asleep. up. When what they wake up, see? say something in German about um ai you know like the importance of it in our community so oh, uh, yeah like what? Like, i just want to hear the german language like was soll ich jetzt sagen was genau soll ich sagen yeah hello und tschüss <laughs> yeah that's it so well mm -hmm. um any final since we i think we've we've kind of touched on it is there any question that um you expected me to ask on something with AI that you think that our community needs to hear about AI. I know, I mean, we've really touched on things that I think you've opened people's eyes as to the benefits of AI, some things that people can, mm -hmm. um, they can benefit from. You were talking about the downside. I don't know if you were done uh -huh. with listing there's those. No, there's yeah. another yeah. thing that, mm -hmm. the thing is, um, once you know that you will magnify only what you have, if you don't have something, there's no way you magnify it. There's something new I've learned now, I've, I'm moving into very much, is um, languages. AI can translate over in over 100 and something, like ChatGPT, for example, over 100 and something different languages, even Pidgin, Cameroon Pidgin, um, Nigerian Pidgin, wow. it will differentiate. But the kind of Cameroon, Cameroonian Pidgin it will even translate is very, very, very local. Mm -hmm. But there's one thing I I like about it is because your text comes out audited and clean. So there is the French aspect. 
not to use it for for cheating, but if you want to learn languages, that's something I'm encouraging these days for people to I learn. I need to learn Spanish. Yes, so I can you can Spanish. use it mm -hmm. for your texting. So, yeah. so at first, you will want to have small, small essays mm -hmm. for a particular language so you can just write them and see if you can work mm -hmm. well with text. You can ask it, ask it to generate it for you and then you work with them. And the good thing about the paid version is it will read it out to you in clear language with the right with the right yes yeah, so with the right accent and then mm -hmm. you get to get because there is this um Michelle Thomas method of learning languages mm -hmm. also immersion mm -hmm. so there's you don't have to have a pen or paper you just have to sit and listen and listen to two people discuss for long hours and if you do that for about 10,000 hours you will learn that language and there are these um a set of languages like the Germanic languages or even the Latin family, mm -hmm. the Latin family languages that will have series of words that are so similar, but you just have like the Sion, mm -hmm. Sean, and mm -hmm. all the, yeah, so mm -hmm. they always have mm -hmm. some words that they always, perfection, yeah. mm -hmm. perfection, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, so they are mm -hmm. so similar, they're always like 1,500, 1,400, if you know all these rules, the Michelle Thomas method will just tell you, sit down and just listen, do not write. Just come, sit every day, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. listen. So auditory. Oh. But if you're not an auditory learner. No, <laughs> language is something that everybody yeah. immerses. Because yeah. from yes. unless you cannot yes. talk. Mm -hmm. So it's something, it's good. Like immersion yeah. is good for languages. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not for every other thing. So because they can be preaching physics in your ears. If you're not an auditory learner. This, yeah, it, no it physics. Goes out. Physics when, goes in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's a generalized um, aspect of immersion, yeah. which is in languages mm -hmm. and visual reality and also in medicine. Yeah. So this immersion is good in languages. And if you like to yeah. learn languages very well, that's a good place to go. Wow. Yeah. So wow. that's something I'm really yeah. trying to encourage these days because mm -hmm. Sometimes people have barriers yes, because of language. Because languages. of language, yes. yeah. 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 Wow. And yeah. you can learn it in a shorter time. In a shorter time. Yeah, yes. than you would have over months. Remember, like when people are trying to travel, you mm -hmm. learn like German, you probably learned oh, it. I, I, I had to repeat the whole yep. for first year. See. Because I could not, I, after learning and passing very well, like really good, the, the final speak. English. I could speak it a bit, but in the lecture room, in the, in the, in the, in the um, hall, there was no way I didn't understand anything the, the professor was saying. Oh. So I would sleep until the end of the class. And then <laughs> by the time, the, the, the end of the year, I had to repeat everything because yeah. there was, it made no sense. Yes. Wow. So wow. we have our struggles, right? Yeah. But this, all these things are the building blocks mm -hmm. to our success because yeah. in everything, there is something to learn yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one downside that I just thought of, because, you know, like on Facebook, there have been all these pictures going around, like, you know, trying to put people together, painting people black, you know, like I, I, I can know. do that to where I can bring this person, put them with this person and yes. set people up for, you know, for, you know, so that's something that, you know, that I'm... No, there are rules that, now yes, about you that. Cannot do that. You have to declare that because... If you really impersonate somebody when it's not true, the person can sue you at okay. this time because there are now rules around around it. that. Okay, uh -huh, so uh -huh. that 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 helps that with that because I've, that's the one thing that I've been seeing all these you know images that pop up and all this thing happen and whatever and you know it's just it it, it makes it. It makes it's uh, scary. there's a thin there's a, a gray line now uh -huh. between reality and what is not real mm -hmm. and you know it just so then you don't even know what to believe. People you know? use it yeah. for fun for yeah. comic bit. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, if yeah, so they can use it now for political things and they just bring Donald mm -hmm. Trump scandal, or Biden scandal. saying mm -hmm. something that yeah. they did not say or even mm -hmm. putting yeah. saying something mm -hmm. that he did not yeah. say or even the uh, what whoever <laughs> just call, saying things. You call the people their name for everything. Not can shut down or show. <laughs> I, I know. No, 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 no. Okay. It's just a, it's just an example. So we have them now. And it's very rampant yeah. these days on AI on AI. Yeah, so, yeah. so now mm -hmm. you have to precisely say it is AI generated. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, okay. So you have to okay. Yes. That's good to know. You, you know, know why yeah. I call those names is because yeah. somebody can come, they can bring it and you say maybe on one polar side, very good or very bad. Yeah. But that's not what they are actually mm. propagating. Yes. And then people, the crowd is very confused. And everybody thinks, okay, what is going on? Yeah. So, but you have to put it explicitly. Mm -hmm. This is exactly yeah. an AI something. Mm -hmm. And then you move wow. from there because somebody can sue you and you'll be in big trouble. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. 
Any final words for the audience? It's yeah. been it's a bit it's been a wonderful conversation. Oh, I've learned you. so much. Yeah. Yeah. Any thank final words so for much. our community? Just to encourage people to empower them with AI, like you've already told them things that they can do, but just mm -hmm. you know, for people who are thinking about going into IT and then who maybe, you know, it might be a niche for them and they just didn't know that they had that niche. So what would you say yeah, to my people only like thing, that? The thing I would just say is with the dawn of AI, we can let competition go because people compare a lot and do your thing. Because sometimes when people get frustrated, lack of one thing or the other, people start being too vicious or quarrelsome. And even when you are coming in from a place where you think you can be very clear and down and like level balance, yeah. you can still be misjudged. Yeah. So stay in your small corner. Yeah, As I said, you don't need yeah. capital to do your yeah. business. If everything is bad and you think things are really bad and it's not going, find your small space, do your small business from no capital and start moving from there. No competition because you can do it yeah you have if you have something within you that you can mm -hmm. sell you will sell it find a mentor that's something i'm within the african community yes. that i'm encouraging mentor call somebody yes. write somebody beg if at yes. all you can yes. beg even if you have to pay for coaching yes. for a while yes. before getting yes. the mentors do it yes. because i have yes i have two great yes. mentors yes so mm -hmm. you know like people who who understand when you come out with something that is good, they mm -hmm. encourage you yeah. each time. And I'm shouting out to my mentors. Yeah, you know I, know. <laughs> I have two great mentors, awesome. like from a spiritual uh, side yes. and from a professional, a professional. side. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's very, yeah. I had actual Gustav on here and he stressed a lot about that, oh, about yes. spending money when, on mentorship mm -hmm. and, you know, people spend thousands of dollars yes. on mentorship and it's worth it it's because worth it. that knowledge somebody's transferring knowledge to, to you. you yes so because we minimize that a lot in our community we want everything for free right you want somebody to spend their time and you know and and, and yes. with you without without you paying for it we have to get to that point well, where we value people's time we value people's knowledge you know yes on this show it's not about money it's about giving out Even. this information but when it comes to if i'm approaching you now on a professional level i should be able to 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 pay for that service and pay for it you know what you deserve yes. you know so yeah so that's something that we need to uh, we need to emulate and and really encourage in our community yeah. but i want to thank everybody out there who watched the show today thank you guys so much for being here um we appreciate you if i didn't shout out it's because these eyes are not seeing very well but i know you're there i'll go back and co comment and re respond to everybody i'm going to post um angles um youtube link and any links that she provides because she is a wealth of knowledge she hasn't even touched the surface of what she knows so we'll share and we'll reach out to her and if she has any um programs coming up i'll definitely invite you guys just make sure you mention that you heard it on the saggy for great podcast indeed indeed <laughs> my <And> people <laughs> you have to please um, subscribe to the saggy's channel Thank if you. you are my follower please do Oh, there here. That one, one, yeah. Yes, my people, please, <laughs> please. I'm begging you. You know, a book club, the book club, Bosage, and <laughs> everybody trying to support me. Please come on here and support. I think I'll be posting the link tomorrow yeah. to my awesome to my own groups. Yeah, awesome. Yes, I've just said <laughs> yes. I've just crashed it. It looks like yes. I've said quite a lot, but there is still really much to go into. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. I know, uh -huh. yeah, you're a wealth of knowledge. So, guys, we'll, yeah, we'll have her on again. We'll definitely have her. We have to tap into this brain because you know how you, you grow up with somebody and you don't know how much they know until you sit down and you, you they, they are deeper than even the knowledge that you thought that they have, you know. So this was really rich and I hope you guys enjoyed it and had fun. But until next time, thank you guys for joining us on the Sari Fogwe podcast. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs>